Hey guys, Tyler here. Welcome back. Now I'm going to be doing my um, Warner Brothers Boring Show VHS collection, at least most of them. And guys, I'm probably am missing some, and, and some of these uh, bigger collections, I'm definitely probably am missing some. I do apologize for that, for the ones I'm missing. Um, I'll try to remember which ones they are. Um, like if there's sequels to a certain movie, I'll probably be able to remember it. So yeah, I have a ton of Warner Home Video Boring Shield tapes. I have a lot over here too. Yeah. Let's get started. First, the tapes we missed. As we always start, the tapes we missed. Alright, we're doing these, um, these first f uh, five items are Cheesy Shield ones I missed. Pre-Willy 2 Polish VHS. It's another uh, foreign Cheesy Shield tape. I This one I forgot to show in the last video, which is okay. I got it now. Born Shield sticker label, but it has Cheesy Shield at the beginning. Demo tape of Summer's by... May 19th, 1993, May 18th, 1993, for the day apart. V, the original miniseries. Tape 1 and Tape 2. Both printed February 5th, 1996. The DI. This has Cheese Shield the beginnings by Boring Shield label. April 2nd, 2001. Town 1 reprint. And I forgot to show this in the last one. Um, I think most have Cheese Shield, if not all. This box set. Really rare box set. Warner Brothers, 75 years entertaining the world. Go ahead and show you guys what's in here. This is a calendar from 1998. Outdated, but still cool to see. January, February, Groundhog Day, Monday, February 2nd, 1998, March, St. Patrick's Day, 17th of March, 1998, which is a Tuesday, April, May, Memorial Day, 25th of May, which is a Monday of 1998. June, Father's Day, and first day of summer, 21st of June, 1998, which is a Sunday. July, 4th of July, which is on a Saturday, July 4th, 1998. By the way, May was my birth month, if you guys didn't know. Wait, when was Mother's Day of 1998? Let me see if that Mother's Day listed. Oh, Mother's Day observed, Memorial Day observed. May 30th, 1998, actually it was Memorial Day. That was on Saturday, my bad. Mother's Day, 10th of May, 1998, which is a Sunday. Uh, August, wow, Looney Tunes. September... October. Daylight saving time ends 25th of October 1998, which is a Sunday. November. Thanksgiving Day, 26th of November 1998, which is a Thursday. Veterans Day, 11th of November 1998. Which is on a Wednesday that year. Election Day, the 3rd of November, 1998. That's on a Tuesday. December. Oh, God. That's from Batman and Robin. Oh, God. Oh, dear. December. Christmas Day, Friday, 25th of December, 1998. First day of winter, 21st of no December, 1998. Which is a Monday. 
Boxing Day Canada, 26 November 1998, which is a Saturday. And then just an index page. Okay. I, I decided to go ahead and go into detail. Copyright 1997, Morgan Creek Productions. Copyright 1997, Regency Entertainment, Inc. Copyright 1997, MGM, Home Entertainment, Inc. All, right reser all rights reserved. 1997, Copyright Warner Brothers. All rights reserved. 1997, Copyright Warner Brothers Home Video. I mean, Warner Home Video. Not Warner Brothers. And then this is just a um, letter to the customer. 75th Anniversary. Written on the 24th of October, 1997. Dear customer, 1998 marks the 75th anniversary of Warner Brothers Studios. Beginning in February, Warner Brothers will field a, will field a comprehensive marketing campaign behind the 75th anniversary. The overall goal is of that marketing campaign across all Warner Brothers divisions is to generate incremental sales of Warner Home Video catalog product. These divisions include Warner Brothers Television, Warner Brothers Theatrical Distribution, Time Warner... Uh, networks, Time Warner pub Publications, Warner Brothers uh, Consumer Products, Turner Original Movies, Warner Music, Warner Brothers Online, DC Comics, and then yada yada yada, Warner Home Video, 4000 Warner Boulevard, Burbank, California, 91522, that's the address. Good Selling, Ron Sanders, Vice President, Sell Through Product Sales. Oh, and also, they also had a free video offer. Uh, buy free five VHS tapes and get one free. So that'd be six you'd get. And then just titles and the movies that are eligible. Brief glance. Announcement date, October 27, 1997. Pre-order date, January 6, 1998. Street date, February 3rd, 1998. I'll do a better quality video of this, uh, showing this part another day. Just try to look the best you can. Titles of a bunch of the movies. The movies that are eligible. So yeah, I'm very lucky to have this. This is this is definitely a work of art. A word a work of art, excuse me. This is printed on October twenty third, nineteen ninety seven, by the way. According to this side heading there. Commander, I mean, commemorating Hollywood's richest collection of award winning movies. 1998. Over 350 Warner Brothers and MGM home video titles. Alright, now the tapes. That took a long time. Alright, 75th anniversary screening cassette. Here's the tape that it comes with. October 22nd, 1997. Not sure what shield that one has. I don't remember it. I'm gonna guess probably Boring Shield or Cheesy Shield. I don't know. Well, well, it's gotta be one of the two. Uh, Casablanca. This one's actually MGM, but I'll just show it anyway. October 17th, 1997. That's an MGM tape. Unforgiven. I have another copy of this. I'm not sure if I brought it or not. It has an ink label. Two part dates. I think it was April 5th, 2002, and March 22nd, 2002. I think it was. No, no, no. April 25th, 2002, and March 22nd, 2002. I just remembered. It's over a month apart. October 17, 1997. Same part date as Casablanca. Not sure about the shield. I know, I know De Driving Miss Daisy has the cheesy shield. Screening copy, October 17th, 1997. That's, that's a later pressing demo tape. I also have an original pressing demo tape, which I showed in part one. March 12th, 1997. I could tell it still has the cheesy shield. It's gotta be because of the print date. I think Unforgiven had the boring shield. Pretty sure. 
And this tape, I think it probably has, this one probably has the Boring Shield. 75, 75th anniversary screening cassette. Probably the 75, 5th, 75 years shield is probably the one it has. Alright. Took five minutes. We went into full detail. A year-long celebration of 75 years of great entertainment. 75 years, Warner Brothers entertaining the world. Alright, put this up. We're done with that. And here is the Sony tape. I forgot to show my Sony collection. I know it was a while ago, but still. I just found it, and I was like, oh, crap, I haven't shown this. March 24, 2006. I got rid of my Town 5 pressing copy because I found this copy. This is even rarer. All right, now let's get to my Warner Brothers collection, Boring Show collection. It took 10 minutes, but let's get right there. Now we're going to do it. Oh, oh, wait. One more cheesy shield tape I forgot to mention. This one's from cheesy this one's a cheesy shield tape. Twenty five twenty fifth anniversary of Really Walk Chocolate Factory. This is hopefully one of the last ones, if not the last uh cheesy shield tape I'm missing. July twenty second, nineteen ninety six. That one has cheesy shield at the beginning. It's pretty obvious by the print tape. Now boring shield. Let's get the boring shield and Bugs Bunny Shield. That's what we're doing next. Tweety's High Flying Adventures. Here is the back. Not rated. Ink label printed August 8th, 2000. This in 1998 reprint of The Secret Garden. This has the Boring Shield beginning. July 3rd, 1998. Despite Choose Your Shield label. This is a bootleg Spanish VHS. It says perfume in blue uh, text. I mean, not, not text, but... It's almost like it's like it's almost like a bootleg stamp they used to make it look legit, but it's not. Space Jam. One of the first Boring Shield tapes ever released, January tenth, nineteen ninety seven. I wonder if the demo tape has Cheesy Shield. Probably not, but <laughs> that'd be cool. I mean, hell, a Time to Kill had that on the demo tape. You never know. The Goonies. Well, unless you have it, obviously. Then you know. December 6, 2000. Free Willy 3 to Rescue. I believe this probably is Boring Shield. I'm pretty sure. Coverage of Regency. I mean, if that's Cheesy Shield, that'd be pretty cool. I'm not sure. I don't think so. October 24th, that's nice. Prayed two years exactly after my Free Willy 2 uh, Canadian VHS. That's a fun fact. Never Ending Story. This is the Boring Shield pressing. October 26, 2000, October 20th, 2000. Six days apart. How to Grinch Stole Christmas. Dr. Seuss. Blockwitch date, January 11th, 2001. Not rated. October 4th, 2000. Christmas Story. Clamshell version. October 26, 2000, October 19th, 2000. A Year Without a Santa Claus, it's a demo tape version, May 25th, 1999, T-Spot Run, this tapes recycled from Perfect Storm, August 1st, 2001. Oh crap, guys, I think I forgot my, my Seacam France import VHS of the Perfect Storm. Ugh, I just have so many tapes now, guys, I have like probably around 4,000 tapes, that's why it's very hard to get them all. Oh, man. Guys, I forgot my C-Cam VHS is a perfect storm. No way. Guys, I'll probably go get it in a few minutes. I'll go get it. Tom and Jerry, The Magic Ring. November 18, 2002. If, if I remember correctly, I actually forgot to show the 75 years one. I was originally going to show it in my Chichi Show collection, but I ended up forgetting at the end. I didn't remember on time. The Wizard of Oz. I'll try to remember. If I don't remember, guys, I truly apologize. August 10th, 1999. Scooby-Doo's Spookiest Tales. I'm going to try to get some more Scooby-Doo tapes. I'm pretty lacking on them. I only have a few. Here's the incredible. Two per dates. August 17th, 2001 and March 29th, 2001. Pretty quite a... Pretty quite... Quite a far... Quite far away apart. I mean, you know, the per dates are kind of far apart. That's what I meant to say. Scooby-Doo in the Monster of Mexico. Here's the ink label printed September 22nd, 2003. This one I'm probably going to get rid of. 
1999 reprint. This has Boring Shield, Beginning, Spite Cheese Shield label, December 9th, 1999. Anniversaries today. 20th birthday to that tape. Happy happy 20th birthday to that tape, even though I'm probably not going to keep it. Here's the sticker label. Um, print date here is... Uh, what was it? I, I, I don't see the month. I see the day and the year, but I don't see the month. Hang on. Something 24th, 1998. Let's see what it is. February 24th, 1998. I just found it. February 24th, 1998. Really walk in the Chocolate Factory. This is my boring shield copy. My first boring shield copy. I have another one. July 15th, 2001. Lord of the Rings. Black Bridge date. June 17th, 2002. Twice. Inclable. September 19th and September 12th, 2001. Seven days apart. Exactly a week. Batman the Mary Series. The Legend Begins. March 25th, 2002 and January 28th, 2002. Print around two months apart. A little less than that. Family Tree, July 12, 2000. Warner Vision Entertainment. Now we're getting to the foreign tapes. At the very end, after Kazam, I'm gonna get get that uh, import that C cam tape. I'll be right back. South Korean VHS of The Matrix. Pretty cool. I have quite a few copies of this movie. Tape, very cool looking tape. Blue tape with a gray lid. Here's the end label, which is in pretty, pretty bad condition. End label's in bad, bad condition. Scooby Doo and the Witch's Ghost. UK VHS. 17th of August, 2002. The Mighty Kong. This tape is lightly molded. Yeah, this tape's molded a little bit. It's hard to see on this camera. 2nd of November, 1999. Hopefully this tape works. I mean, it might or might not. This next tape's molded, too. But I'm going to keep it just because of how rare it is. This tape's extremely rare. It's rarer than the American. UK VHS of Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Wow, that's quite rare. But I doubt the tape will work. Look at that. You could even see it with this camera. You could even see it. It's so bad. 27th of October, 2005. I'll keep it just because it's rare. I think my America copy is October 11th, 2005. I'll be showing that in a little bit. Alright, first three are the first Harry Potter movies. Uh, Philosopher's Stone. Next five are Harry Potter tapes. First three are the original. Here's the sticker label. 8th of March, 2002. Here's the German VHS. I don't speak German, so can't read that. 27th of March, 2002. Here's the Venezuela import of Chamber of Secrets. Or the Philosopher's Stone, as, it known, as it's known overseas. Philosopher's Stone. And here's the end label. Alright. Here's the second Harry Potter movie. This is the Japanese VHS of the second Harry Potter. Here's the tape. End label. This has a blue tape. That's pretty cool. Here's 
There's the Australian VHS. Trying to get the Australian VHS of the first one as well, and the third one. Part date is the 12th of July, 2003. I can actually see it. Then labels down low enough to where I could actually see the print date. 12th of July, 2003. Wizard of Oz, Willy Walker Chucka Factory. Thanks to VHS Collector Town 2 for giving me this tape. This tape looks damaged, but it might work okay. I'll give it, I'll, I'll probably pop it in another day. 29th of March, 2003. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Some crinkles on film strip, but it might be okay. I'm sure it probably will. Two classic, classic movies. Both are great movies. Scooby-Doo and Zombie Island. Sir label. Hardly any mold, just a little tiny bit of mold on this tape. 1st of October 2003, or October 1st, 2003. It's the print type. There. Japanese VHS of Spear. Here's the tape and the end label. Here's uh, my only VHS import from Singapore, Kazam, even though the film got terrible reviews. Polly Graham and Intercom. It had Boring Shield on the spine and it has uh, the Warner Brothers Cheesy Shield lid, which is rare. I just figured I'd show it for an extra. 19th of December 1996 is the print date on this tape. Board of Film Center, Singapore. And I will be right back, guys. Let me go get that C-cam tape that I actually didn't bring. I'll be right back. Let me see if it's in this room. It might be in this room. I'm not sure. I'm 
looking for my Seacam VHS of Perfect Storm. I might have to just show it in the next video. I, well, oh, 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 I found it. It's in here. There we go. Here we go. Now we can sh now we can continue off with this video. I also found a couple tapes I forgot to show. A couple of the American clamshells. Here's a couple more I actually just found. I actually missed a few others. So yeah, let's, let's get right to it. Here are the couple I missed. September 26, 1997. There's another. Might not skip. I have two copies of this. Uh, I might just keep one. This is the copy I'm going to keep. Good thing I got this one. I I'm probably going to get rid of my May 18, 2000 copy. May 31st, 2000. And here is that tape. Seacam. This is from France. Here is the ink label. Fun fact, I'm getting some more Seacam tapes in the mail. Holy crap, I think I just found a print date. Oh, uh, oh no, it's not. It said 998. I was thinking, what? No, no, no. It's not. No, no this is tape from 2000. Derp. Not 998. That can't be right. It's just some numbers. Okay. Well, no print date. Just like I thought. All right. All right. Now we're getting to the. We're back to the Americans now and Canadians. They're together. The Dirty Dozen, Warner Bros. Special Edition. Ugh. Oops, excuse me. Canadian. Total, the total uh, amount of this tape is 165 minutes. That's how long it is. Canadian copy. I know Fisher Rachel has been looking this tape. At, uh, um, I've been looking for the. He has been looking for this tape for a while. And I wonder if he has it already or not. Oh, hmm. I haven't heard about Fisher Rachel for a while. It's been a while. Yeah, May 2nd, 2000. I'm wondering if he's still looking for it or if he already found it. Celebrating the Century 2000. Special offers inside the inside this uh, booklet. Oh, wow. Princess Cruises. And then Century 2000 checklist. Just check the titles as you build your video collection. Oh, dear. Almost all of these I'd be checking. For what I have. I have like a whole ton of these. Buy one, get one free. Act 2 Popcorn. I don't care for popcorn, though. That's just my opinion. There's Dirty Dozen. I think I probably already have that movie, if I'm not mistaken. Okay. Insert that back in. And guys, I have another copy of Ghost Ship. I may have forgot to bring it. My other copy is for February 18th, 2003 and has a dark sticker label. And it came factory sealed when I got it. Just in case I didn't bring it. Just so you guys know that I have it. Valentine's Day 2003, four days apart. This has a white sticker label. I like the other one. Oh, wow. Former rental at the Blockbuster video I went to when I was a little kid. This was the one closest to home. This was the original address, 1522 East Mississippi Avenue, Aurora, Colorado, 80012. That's the one, that's the one near Dollar Tree, where are you, I mean, where, of where I live, um, you know, in the area of where I live. That was the one I, that was the one closest to where I live, guys. I actually went there a few times when I was a kid. I went to that location. Yeah, it has my local Blockbuster before it closed address on there. Again, it's 15022 East Mississippi Avenue, or Colorado 80012. Phone number 303-755-6840. I'm sure, but unfortunately they're gone, which is really sad. I wish I wish it was still around. I would have I would have still gone and bought some movies over there. The Music Man, Weather Bros. Special Edition, has somebody's address on here. I might try to remove it for safety. October 1st, 1998. Special offers inside. Choose one from the following. Offer expires May 31st, 1999. Same popcorn uh, advertisement. An ad about life. Mad. For over 40, 
for over 45 years, America's dumbest magazine. Please mail your order to Life, P.O. Box, 60001, Tampa, Florida. Six Flags. Six Flags is actually called uh, Elitch's, Elitch Gardens in my area. Oops. Ah, lost track of where I was. Let me find where I was. Oh, I just got right to it. I believe that was the page. I hope I hope that we're not, I'm not mistaking this. I believe this was the page we were on. Warner Music Group. That has the big W on it, which is neat. Warner Brothers. What is that inside Shield say? Warner Bros. Online. I was wondering. That looked a little different. Hmm. Huh. WarnerBrothers.com 1-800-417-2618 That was their old phone number. I know. I, I wonder if I tried calling it and see, like, just to see what, like, what it sounds like when you call. I, I kind of am curious. I kind of want to call them just to, just for laughs. Uh, offer received by, by March 15th. Offer by for 28th. That's right. And then just an a old style, uh, old style card. To the movie. I'm probably gonna stop showing promo to Terra right here because we don't have a lot of time left. I mean, uh, this video is gonna be more than an hour already. We're already at half hour. We haven't even hardly touched the surface of my collection <laughs> of Born Shields. Enter the Dragon. Sorry, this video is taking so long. Well, at least this video is a good time killer. If you guys are, if you guys are like. Just want to kill time. This is a perfect video to watch. April 29th, 1998. You know, this this video, I'm just no rush. You know, I'm really at no rush in this video. I'm just kind of taking my time here. Deep Blue Sea. April 28th, 2000. Now we're going to speed up a bit. <sighs> Along the Great Divide. Black Wizard Day, Jr. 28th, 3. This could be my definitely the longest uh, video I've done of my VHS collections. May 21st, 1987. Oh, shoot. I forgot to say, this is a che another Cheesy Shield I forgot to... This is another Cheesy Shield tape I forgot to show in my Cheesy Shield collection. May 21st, 1987. This does have the Black Street at the end. This is another Cheesy Shield tape I have that I forgot to show. There's another. That's another one. Get Carter. I swear I have two. I swore I had two copies of this one. I don't know. Maybe not. Bloggers date May 14th, time one. That was my birth date. No joke. This Blockbuster date has my birth date on it. Pretty nice. This tape is, I think, minorly damaged at the beginning. Either that or the film strip is bad. Let me check. Oh, it's the film strip that looks a little bad. I don't know. It might work okay. Per day, January 5th, 2001. I think I have another copy, or I might... Uh, I may have forgot to bring it, or maybe I don't have... I don't know. Huh. Lost and found. Blockbuster date, January 25th, 2000. Core producer, Bel Air Entertainment, I think that company is. Alright, is it? Ah, it's too small, I can't read it. <laughs> my eyes my eyes are really good. I have like 20-20 vision, and I can't read it. September 5th, 1999. It's like so, so small. I do have another copy of this, but I don't think I brought it. I think it, I, I, yeah, or it may be there. I don't know. I don't think I, I think I forgot to bring my other copy. Ah, well. April 22nd, 2002, and April 16th, 2002. Six days apart. Are you in or out? If you're in, you win. And you could also win a Las Vegas vacation. I went to Las Vegas back in 2014. That was pretty cool. I liked Las Vegas. I also went inside the M&M shop, and I went inside some other places. The Coca-Cola store. I went inside, and I also bought a pen over there, a Coca-Cola pen. That was pretty cool. That was back in December. Like I think it was December 21st or 20th, 2014, the day I, did the, that I went to those places. And then this expired on... June 18th, 2002, I think it says. Alright, let's just go ahead and move on to the next one. 
Network, MGM case, Born Shield tape, and it has Born Shield beginning, I believe. This tape has a printing error. It says January 4th, 1980. The print date's actually January 4th, 2000. That's really weird. It says January 4th, 1980, when it's actually January 4th, 2000. That's really weird. Addicted to Love. This is a demo tape. I'm pretty sure it says Boring Shield. August 5th, 1997. Wild Bunch. April 22nd, 1998. Blockbuster date fell off. I don't remember the Blockbuster date. Now it's the widescreen edition of the Wild Bunch. Shawshank Redemption, year 28, 2000. Empire Records, Corporation of Regency Enterprises. May 14, 1999, printed exactly two years before I was born. This next film sucks. Oh, God. 36 minutes into my video, and why? 36 minutes, guys. Battlefield Earth. Triggered! One of the worst movies ever made! Morgan Creek franchise! Yeah! This film deserves the Boring Shield! Boring Shield! Boring Shield! Oh, God! The only reason why I have this block was your date. October 15th, 2008. I had to get it because of that. I was like, oh my god, I didn't even know it was that late. December 5th, 2000. Good thing I checked this tape and got it because of the blockbuster day. I've never seen a Town 8 blockbuster date before. Never in my life on a VHS. Gothica, blockbuster day, August 17th, 2005. Single labels on the back. That means I checked and see where it was recycled from. Internationally, it's from Colombia. I plan to get uh, a couple of imports of that one from Colombia. Like, I want to get the UK VHS of Gothica sometime. That one is Colombia. I might order that the next time I get more money. Recycle from Ready to Rumble, as you can probably see. Per date, February 20th, 2004. Contact. Ink label, November 19th, 1997. Tom and Jerry Blast Off to Mars. I plan to get that other Tom and Jerry tape. Uh, it's like a racing one, Tom and Jerry. I don't remember what that one was called. But there's another Tom and Jerry movie that had racing in it. I completely forgot what that one was called. I spaced it. Uh, I plan to get that one on VHS sometime. I want to try to get the blue lid version if I can, though. That's why I'm waiting. February 15th, 2005. That one, unfortunately, did not have the blue lid like I was expecting. But I'll keep it anyway for collect purposes. Why not? Maybe I could get a second copy that has a blue lid another day. I'll keep that copy because it's an early copy. Racing Stripes. I also have an Italian VHS of this, but it's from Summit, not Warner Brothers, so I'm not including it. I do have an Italian VHS of this movie. That's from Summit. And instead of Warner Brothers, they use Summit and Alcon. February 27, 2006. Here's Michael, also the Spanish VHS, which I'm going to be showing in probably four to five minutes. Single label, August 9th, 1997. Insomnia, with Al Pacino, Ron Williams, and Hilary Swank. Ah, oh, rest in peace, Ron Williams. God, I miss him. September 6th, 2002, and August 31st, 2002. He committed suicide, which is so sad. I was a big fan of his movies back in the day. Executive Decision. Here's a demo tape of Lethal Weapon 4. Also have the official copy. Print April 22nd, 1999. I actually remember the print date. I don't know if I have it in here or not. I may or may not. October 14th, 1998 for the demo tape. I have both. Uh, excuse me. Here's the postman. November 28th, 1998. Uh, I guess we'll just look at the inside. We'll see. Oh, I already have a, the same one. Okay, let's not look at it again then. It's the same booklet as one of my other tapes that I previously showed. Sleepers. Block was 8, August 4th, 1997. Corporate of Polygram. I believe one of the only Wonder Brothers movies that's Corporate of Polygram. PVT. Previously viewed tape. March 17, 1997. A perfect murder. Oh. 
I think I forgot to get my other copy. My other copy had two print dates. I think from May 6, 2002, May 3rd, 2002? I think that's what it was, if I remember correctly. I don't remember. Oh, wait. I actually did bring it. Here it is. My bad, it is here. Uh, print date September 8th, 1998. Bog was date March 6th, one On that copy, let's check out this copy. Is it? Was I right about the print dates? I was! May 6th and May 3rd, 2002. Tapes a total of 114 minutes. Six minutes of features and 108 minutes of the movie. That's how long the movie is. Hearts and Lance. I actually have two copies of this. Um, this is just one of them. Well, I have three copies, technically, actually. Oh, no, four! I also have a bootleg copy, which we're getting to in a little bit. Look at the ink label's printed kind of weird. Now, this actually got factory sealed. Look at the ink label. The ink label's interesting on this one. Totally keeping it. August 9, 2002. For your consideration of Hearts and Atlantis, I will do my Warner Brothers DVD collection another day. Ink label. November 9, 2001. This is a for your consideration Academy Screener. Purred the same day as my Monsters, Inc. Academy Screener. That I showed you guys my Wolfsey Entertainment VHS collection. Maverick. I have a grocery... I mean, not a grocery store. I have a... Uh, I have a... Uh, it's like a 7-Eleven. It's a... Uh, excuse me. Um, it's basically one of those soda stores and... Oh yeah, it's one of those gas store, those gas stations. Uh, I have a gas station called Maverick in my area. It's only two minutes away from this house, this current house I live in. April eighth, nineteen ninety nine. Ink label's really weird. This has boring shield at the beginning. I checked it. Samantha, an American Girl holiday. I haven't even had this tape for that long. Got this tape pretty recently. Full length movie. Got this tape back on. Mm, I don't remember. I just remembered it was not that long ago. I don't remember what day I got it. Revolution Studios Television has that logo on the back. I also showed at the end of the tape. I did it on my, on my channel the same day I got it. I showed that logo. Here's the ink label. Not rated. October 21st, 2004. How the West Was Won. Spine of Spine Top Back. Inklable Black Reels. June 15th, 2005. This is going to be my longest VHS, co VHS collection video up to date, by the way. This is going to be the longest. Time to Kill. December 3rd, 2002. Got Factory Sealed. House of Wax. Dark Castle Village Roadshow it is what it's core produced by, and it's produced by Warner Bros. September 19th, 2005. Oops. Before Sunrise. This is the only Warner Independent Pictures tape I have. I don't have any other Warner Independent Pictures tapes. I used to be late on Warner Independent Pictures tape, but I only have one now. October 23rd, 2004. Miss Congeniality. Con Congeniality. I have two copies of this one. I might also get the second one on VHS for a collection. July 19, 2004. This copy's a reprint. This is the first copy I ever got. I got it in a VHS lot. I have a disc. It's originally factory sealed. I was really going to leave it factory sealed, but I actually found a way to open it without it destroying the this part. So I opened it. December 2nd, 1998. Probably this... Uh, did I already show one like this? Yeah, I guess I, I think I already did. Okay, so we'll skip that again. Murder by Numbers. I now have two copies of this. This is the first copy I ever got. My other cop the other copy my grandma gave me. I'll keep that too. I'll probably keep both copies. October twenty third and October seventeenth, town four at a blockbuster dates. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. August fourteenth, two thousand two is the print date. Matrix, I have a few copies of this one. You guys are probably gonna notice. I have a few copies of this one. September twenty second, that's ninety nine. I also have a couple of reprint copies, I think. And one's a bootleg. Frantic. April 16, 2000, twice. Same print day twice. What's weird? Look at the look at the second time it was printed. It says 04162000. Instead of just putting the last two zeros, they put all the, le the all the numbers. 2000. They put the whole year on the, that one. That's weird. 
I've, I don't think I've ever seen a tape of two print dates that had that before. That's the first one I have. Perfect Storm, which I also have the Seacam VHS of, which I did already show. Box date, May 27, 2001. September 4, 2000. Alrighty. Scooby-Doo meets Batman. It's another Scooby-Doo tape. Black Reels, January 10, 2005. Spanish VHS of Michael. May 27, 1997. This is a pretty early pressing. Blue com color com comedy tour of the movie. Yeah. I actually already have this on DVD as well. It's on two DVD. Co produced of Pandora. Draw a Town 4. Co produced of Miramax and IMF. Aviator. April 6, 2005. The American President. This is the other copy I have. Did I previously already show my other copy? I may have already shown my other copy. I don't remember if I showed my other copy or not. Probably. Or right. have I? I'm trying to look. It is it actually now that I look, it doesn't really it doesn't look like I already showed it. Maybe maybe it's coming up. This is my first copy then. Yeah, this is the first copy I ever got, by the way. Fun fact. September fourth, nineteen ninety nine. I guess I, I guess I didn't show my other copy already. I thought I did. I guess not. Animatrix. Mexico label. Coverage of Silver Pictures. May 16, 2003. Two days after my second birthday. Matrix Reloaded. Slip cover case is in kind of beat up shape. It has revolutions despite having reloaded case. This has revolutions. And it has two print dates. March 16, 2004 and January 8, 2004. Really Wonka Chocolate Factory is a slipcase, boring shield copy. June 26, town 3, June 18, town 3. I'll keep it for the collect purposes. We got Black Heart. Here's the back. Here's the ink label. Perk date is March 13, 2000. Grandma gave me this tape. It's factory sealed when I got it. I unsealed it. This is a bootleg screening copy. It's a bootleg demo tape. You can tell by the label. Look at that. Very bootlegged. Dreamcatcher, I have two copies of this. Both have the same print date. This is the copy my grandma gave me. August 30th, 2003. Because my grandma's really getting up in age, so she, she gave me most of her tapes. Oh, I'm going to miss it when my grandma dies. I'm going to be so sad, guys. I'm going to be freaking crying for days. Oh, it's horrible. I hope it doesn't happen anytime soon. Wrongfully accused. Probably some Morton Creek. Guys, I think I may have forgot to, sh to bring that Avengers uh, 1998 or 1999 VHS, but I have that as well. I have all three Warner Brothers 75-year tapes that have sicker label and white screen of death printings. I have all three out of the three. Co-produced with Palms Video Plus. This tape does have the white screen of death at the end. White screen of death printings. I got this off of eBay. Amadeus, special widescreen. March 23rd, 1998. City of Angels. Sticker label, widescreen of death printings. Fall in. Coverage of Turner Entertainment, ink label. No print date. This is the first copy I have. This is my first copy. I also have another copy that has a print date. We'll get to it in a little bit. I love Jersey Wales. Grandma gave me this tape. August 7, 2000. This was factory sealed. Here's my other Murder by Numbers VHS. It's a copy my grandma gave me that she used to have. September 3rd, 2002. I'll keep it for backup. It's an okay backup copy. Gremlins. Black Reels, it's pretty cool. July 18, 2005, this is a much later pressing. Um, now we're getting to these, and then we'll get to the ones over here. Alright, I'm going to plug in my phone again. It got disconnected. I'm plugging in my phone while I do this, actually, if you guys didn't notice. Valentine. 
Core Producer Village Roadshow Pictures, June 13, 2001. Mad City, this is a Spanish VHS. I just checked this, I just checked last night, um, around 11.50 p.m., and this tape does have the Boring Shield at the beginning, I checked it. November 14, that's night. this tape does not have the Cheese Shield, that's the Boring Shield. Which is at Eastwick, Warner Brothers Hits. October 27, 2000, October 22nd, 2000. This is my Boring Shield copy. I show my Cheesy Shield copy in my Cheesy Shield collection. Now I just show my Boring Shield copy. Here's a Mexican Spanish VHS of Conspiracy Theory. Covers the Silver Pictures. Inclable. Warner Home Video Mexico. 17th of August, 1998. Is the print date? There's a tiny, there's a tiny piece in the reel, but the tape still works. I'm sure. There's a tiny piece in the reel. Ugh, my nose is stuffed up. Sorry, my nose is all jam packed. Collateral damage. Cobra's of Bel Air. There's Bel Air. June twenty second, town two. June fourteenth, town two. This tape's pretty. This tape's pretty colorish looking when I pop it in. Well, it might be the tracking though, on through my Elgato, uh, you know, on my one of my VCRs. It's I think it might be the tracking. It might not be the tape's fault. Swordfish, Village Roadshow, and Silver Pictures, September fifth, two thousand one. The Pledge with Jack Nicholson, co-produced with Franchise Pictures and Morgan Creek. Blockers date September thirtieth, two thousand one. You hear that big thing? I heard some tapes occasionally. Some tapes, it's pretty rare. Like this tape has this issue. Has like this big old, see that? This big old metal thing that broke somehow. I guess in the lid or something. That broke. And now it's inside the, stuck inside the freaking tape. I also have one other tape with that that has that same problem. It's my second tape to have that problem. May 11th time 1, April 28th time 1. That's two for dates. I hope this tape still works. That This is really concerning me. I'm going to have to take the tape apart and get rid of that. Co-producer franchise pictures in Morton Creek. <sighs> Which really sucks to have a tape like that. Well, I have two tapes like that, too. <coughs> the other one I haven't had for as long. And I, I don't remember what it was called. I don't really remember what the tape was called. U.S. Marshals, June 27, 1998, Sydney Market, number 33, and then the address right there, printed June 27, 1998, if I haven't already read it. Sydney Market is also, also aka King Supers, if you guys are curious. It's, ex exact, it's exactly the same thing, but cer certain parts of Colorado have King Supers, like where I live, where I, where I live is King Supers, but... Near where my grandma lives, in some of those other smaller towns in Colorado, it's called City Market. Fun fact. I actually didn't even know that till the last time I went to um, City Market, you know, back when I visited my grandma back in uh, mid, uh, later November, kind of mid, but later November. You guys already know, like the 18th and 17th of November 2019 is when I was over there. Cobra Deuce Regency. I think it was the 17th of November or 16th of November I learned that. Cobra Deuce Regency. My mom actually told me. I actually didn't even know. Because my mom grew up around that area. Originally. Or, yeah, maybe. I, even though my mom was born in a different state. But, yeah, I'm not going to get too much into that. May 19th, 1998. Oh, guys, I forgot to count the Cheesy Shield tapes. But I might watch the video and I might try to count that way. Um, so yeah, I might do that. I'll probably get a more accurate number when I do that. Eraser. I know some copies of this have cheese shield. Unfortunately, my copy's not that copy. This has boring shield. Despite this label, that looks kind of off. Well, almost looks like it might have had cheese shield. I thought it might have cheese shield, but I checked one time and it had the boring shield. I remembered. April 14, 1997. I also have a clamshell copy to erase. I have a slipcover copy too. Of the same tape. 
I'll keep them both for collections. February 26, 1998. Two days apart, actually. Just in a slipcase instead. Two day that tape's two, two days younger than the other tape. Cats and Dogs. Caseless. August 23rd, 2001. Needs a home. Ah, well, you know, this tape has a home, obviously, but I'm just talking about, like, you know, it needs a case. Mm, I might try to get a case for this tape if I can. I don't want my caseless tapes to be to stay caseless. Stars of Space Jam. Sylvester and Tweety. The reason why I didn't show this in my Choose Show collection is because it's an Avon copy and as the boring show at the beginning because it's a reprint. January 4th, 1999. I thought I said 1998 for a second. No, it's 1999. Just Cause. This is my other copy. This is my boring shield one. March 15, 2001. I bought it just to see if it had cheesy shield, but it doesn't. I'll keep it anyway. All right. Um, here's a 2005 VHS of the Phantom of the Opera. I heard this is a good movie. I haven't seen it. I definitely will give it a try. Inclable, April 6, 2005. Same birthday as my Aviator tape. Harry Potter and Sorcerer's Stone. This is a, this is my second copy. This tape was printed on my first birthday, May 14, 2002. That's why I got it. Casablanca. 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 <laughs> Silly me. This is the special edition. August 7, 2003. Vegas Vacation. I actually have yet to check the opening to this. I haven't checked the opening to this one yet. January 14, 1998. Probably is Boring Shield. Or it might have Cheesy Shield. Just might have Cheesy Shield. I'm not, I think it probably is Boring Shield. If I was to guess. Specialist. Inclable. Just February 9, 2000 and December 2nd, 1999. Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. Black Reels. January 19, 2005. So they have five reprint. Now, this one, eh, just like one other. I'm not sure if this will have Born Shield necessarily, but it's, I'm just, I'll just add it in. It's a Canadian copy of Passion of the Christ. Besides, it mentions Warner Brothers, so I was like, Born Shield, so I was like, eh, I, I guess I'll just show it. Print it on, let's see, what's the printing on this tape? August 6, 2004. There it is, August 6, 2004. Heard the film sucks, but I'll keep it for the collection purposes. Matrix Reloaded. I actually have never seen the movie Passion of Christ. I probably won't. I'll probably skip it since I hear bad things about it. September 15, 2003. Grumpier Old Men. Oh yeah, this video is going to be far, far longer than the Cheesy Shield collection. I mean, we're already at the Cheesy Shield collection length. If you would have played a Cheesy Shield collection video um, while I did this, it would have uh, had 10 seconds left and it would have been over by now. <laughs> uh, July 16, 1998. Taking Lives with Angelina Jolie and Ethan Hawks. Produced of Village Roadshow and Atmosphere, whatever the company is. July 12, 2004. Alright, now we're getting to the crap ton over here. Exit Wounds. Produced of Village Roadshow and Silver Pictures. March 9, 2002, March 2, 2002. We're going to go a little faster. Incognito Demo Tape. Produced of Morgan Creek. Inclable, June 30th, 1998. Sweet November. I know this video is going to be like a short movie length. We're almost at just four minutes left, and then we will officially be at Dumbo length. At Dumbo length. You know, Dumbo in the movie 63 minutes. We're at 59 minutes. April 19th, uh, not April 19th, April 18th, 2001. I was about to be a day off. Put down this tape, uh, and this demo tape, one more time. April 18th, 2001. I almost said April 19th. Silly me. Troy. King Supers. Please rewind. Video number 67. Number 16, Town 4. And that obviously is the same place as City Market. Fires of Kuwait. Which I didn't actually know at first. You guys already knew that story. 
War Warner Explorations. Insight, knowledge, wonder, take them home today. Oops, it actually opens up. I almost forgot to, re to show this. Offer expires a April Fool's Day to them too. April 1st to them too. Ink label. August 12th, 2001. This say can factory seal when I got it. I, I figured I'd just get it for the collection. And besides, it kind of interests me. Foreign countries do kind of interest me. That's just me. I actually am pretty interested in about foreign countries and stuff. Our third. One of those hits. Kirby Sir Ryan. That's why I collect travel tapes, because I'm interested in other countries. This is Recycle from an MGM tape. As you can see with that red, uh, that red, those red printings. February 1st, 2002, and October 31st, 1995. Recycle from tape printed in Halloween, 1995. MGM tape. Pure Country. I just checked this one as well. I checked two tapes last night. I mean, I mean, uh, like, what time is it right now? 2.36. Oh my goodness, it's getting late. So it was like two hours, I was like an hour... 50 minutes ago when I popped in this one. March 26, 2001. This has Boring Shield. So, yeah. Oh, I think I forgot to analyze uh, th that. Analyze that Spanish VHS. I have that. That's pretty March 14, 2002, if I remember correctly. That's a Spanish VHS. I probably forgot to bring that one. But that's okay. You know, my collection is so big now, it's freaking impossible to get them all. I'm, I'm all I all I worry about right now is the majority. CBC. This is a Canadian copy. Co producer Village Roadshow Pictures. Oops, didn't mean to drop it. Just to remind, please rewind. Thanks. The end. Blockbuster. Wow, what a difference. Warning: If this label is broken, you must purchase this video. It's Canadian VHS, July twelfth, nineteen ninety nine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Sisterhood, I have two copies of this. It's the first one. I mean, the second one. This is the second copy I have. I mean, the second copy I ever got. 116 minutes, extra is 19 minutes, so that added up is 135 minutes. October 4, Town 2, October 3rd, Town 2, pretty day apart. Here's a Canadian VHS of Harry Potter, Prisoner of Azkaban. Thanks to VHS Fan Town 3 for giving me this type. I highly appreciate it. I highly appreciate it. October 18, 2004. They forgot to put the 1 on the month of October. That's really weird. Angel Ice. Ink label. Franchise Pictures of Morton Creek. March 4, 2002. Also the Spanish features of that, which we'll get to in a little bit. Lethal Weapon Director's Cut. We also have a Lethal Weapon 3 movie box set, which we'll get to in a little bit. July 7th, Town 1, June 29th, Town 1. Ocean's 12 widescreen edition. This tape is recycled from... Oh yeah, thanks to VHS Clocker Town 2. I almost forgot to say, for giving me this tape. I almost forgot to say it. Good thing I didn't forget. Uh... Let me find what it's recycled from. Hang on. Hate to ruin the label, but... Nah, screw it. I don't want to ruin it any further. February 22nd, 2005. Palmetto. I'm not sure if this will have boring show. I'm pretty sure it will. June 11th, 1998. That's the other one I'm not sure about, the other Canadian VHS. I just saw Boring Show. I was like, eh, I'm better on it. JR15, 3 That's a Canadian copy. Next two are bootlegs. Theater-recorded bootlegs. They're both theater-recorded, I'm pretty sure. I know this one for sure is theater-recorded. Parts of Lannis. MCA Air. Here's The Matrix. New Line Air. This is also a theater-recorded bootleg. Dead Bang. November 7, 2000. Two Shield showcase, but boring shield tape. Turn of Faith.
King Supers, video number 14. Please rewind. September 24, 2003. The American President. June 3rd, Town 3, May 16th, Town 3. That's my other copy. Which I thought I originally sh I already showed, but I didn't. Twister. December 2nd, Town 2. This actually is a boring show at the beginning. That one. City Slickers 2, Legend of Curly's Gold. This is my damaged copy. I still have May 29, 2001, 15 days after I was born. Eh, eh, I might just keep it, to be honest. Charlie Chocolate Factory. Cobra to Plan B. October 11, 2005. Cradle to the Grave, July 18, 2003, Must Love Dogs, Cracked right there, yeah, the tape has a couple cracks, this tape does have a couple cracks in a couple of places, November 14, 2005, oh wait, I did, I did bring my ghost ship tape, there it is, I just wanted to make sure. Village Road Show and Dark Castle Entertainment. February 18, 2003. That's the one I told you about. That was factory sealed. Perfect. I have it. Mystery. I mean, Mystic River. Bogus Day, August 16, 2004. Colby's Village Road Show. A lot of these are. March 22nd, 2004. 13 Ghosts. I know Columbia did this movie in the UK and some of those other countries. I'm definitely going to get the UK VHS of this one. March 8th Town 2, January 20th Town 2, for the collection purposes. Blade Runner, Director's Cut. Inklable, March 28th, 2000. Dented right there, but tape still works. Linus. This is my other copy. December 10th, 2002. God. <laughs> this film seems kind of funny. April 28th, I say 8. That film seems kind of funny. Grumpy Old Men. This is my Boring Shield reprint. It has Boring Shield. I wish it had GG Shield. The label's kind of screwed up, but that's okay. September 2nd, 1997. Next three are Superman's. Superman the movie. March 29th, 2001. Superman 2. Ink label. April 17th, 2001. 3. April 9th, 2001. Funny Farm. And thanks to Chris Jones for giving me this tape. May 15th, 1997. It's boring show at the beginning, but still keep it for collection. Also known, I think, is Eric Jones on uh, YouTube. I think. Spanish features of Angel Eyes. Carbreach of Franchise, Morgan, and Morgan Creek. This is my Spanish copy. March 19, 2002, and January 11, 2002. This has two per dates. Here's my other Dreamcatcher tape. Carbreach of Castle Rock, Vildrucho. All three of the logos are snowy. <laughs> August 30th, Town 3. I like Dale Reynolds. That's my first copy. I'll definitely keep that copy as well. Also, I think I may have forgot to bring my other... <sighs> maybe, maybe, maybe not. My other copy printed on June 25th, 2000. September 9th, 1999. I have two Boring Shield reprints with Cheesy Shield slip covers. Mission. This has the wrong tape inside. Chill Factor is what it has inside. January 25th, 2000. Proof of Life demo tape, which I also know Eric Jones has the VHS of. You already know what I'm talking about, Chris Jones. April 4, 2001. We both have that same demo tape. Oh, you guys are going to hate this. I know Davini Troy is going to cringe at this one and be triggered. Fear.com. I'll keep it for the laughs and collection purposes, just like Battlefield Earth. Core producer of Franchise Pictures. This was originally my grandma's. I'll just keep it. 
for the collections. February 19, 2003. Why not? Absolute power. July 30th, 1997. 131. On the side. I could tell by the tape show. Advanced screening copy. This might be an Academy screener. I'm not sure. This I know this, this is this is a screener for sure. I know it's a demo tape. Whole ten yards. May third, two thousand four. Matrix Revolutions. This is the actual Ma Matrix Revolutions. I think. Box page seven thousand four. Yes, it is. March third, two thousand four. Return with Honor. This is a demo tape. Boring Shield PBS demo tape. And also cover this is actually a Boring Shield tape. February 3rd, 2001. Here is a Spanish VHS of Terminator 3 Rise of the Machines. Okay, we're already 70 minutes into the video. Dark sticker label. January 15th, 2004. I believe. I believe. Thanks to VHS Collector Tom 2 for giving me this tape, if I remember correctly. Curly Sue. This is the uh, Avon, March 28th, 1999. That has Boring Shield. Murder in the first. Pretty sure this has Boring Shield. November 30th, 1998. At least last time I checked. This tape has serious sound, sound problems. I mean, serious. This is a very rare tape, though. 10th anniversary edition. This is super, super rare. But the tape does not play very well. At least with the tracking. You know, the audio is jumpy like freaking crazy. I mean, the audio sounds terrible. Freaking terrible on this tape. Two per dates from 10 days apart. January 16th down 3 and January 6th to down 3. I'll keep it for the collection purposes. I might just try to get another one. I'll, I'll still keep it, though. Probably. 187. I'll keep it because I like the two per dates from 10 days apart. Dark Sickle Label, August 9th, 2001. Blood work. Blood was date December eighth, two thousand three. Number twentieth, two thousand two. Here's a. Uh, oh, it looks like I have another, yet another, uh, yet another uh, theater recorded bootleg. Huh. Fun fact: the initials of the the initials of my name actually are also T R B. Theater recorded bootleg. That me that's really weird. I don't know. I found that kind of weird, guys. That the initials of my name are TRB as well. Just like, uh, th just like, uh, <clears throat> you know, my full name's Tyler Ross Black. That's my full name. If you guys are curious, <clears throat> uh, some label. It's a, it has an air. Uh, I can't. I don't know what which air it is. I, I'd almost say MCA Universal. Oh uh, yeah, I think it's MCA Universal air. Actually, now I think about it. Just doesn't have the MCA thing. That's just kind of weird, you know. Unlike that Hearts and Atlantis one, the Hearts and Atlantis bootleg. Perfect World, Cheese Shield case, but it has Boring Shield tape. It has Boring Shield BA. It prefers that I eight. <clears throat> Next two are Tom and Jerry's tapes. Pause for a holiday. Whoops, didn't mean to drop that. November nineteen two thousand three. November thirteen two thousand three. Tom and Jerry Whiskers Away. This is also a clamshell version. I plan to get the clamshell version. Number 1704. <clears throat> Forever Young. January 15, 1999. That came factory sealed. Yaya Sisterhood. This is my first copy I've ever owned. Number 15, 2002. Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. This is the widescreen edition. Also have the cheesy shield, which I already showed. Jerry eight and eight. This is boring shield. My fellow Americans, a demo tape. Co-produced with Peters Entertainment, March thirty first, nineteen ninety seven. I don't think I've ever heard of Peters Entertainment. That's my first time. Matrix. April twenty ninth, two thousand four. This is a much later reprint. Aloha Scooby Doo Kids Movie Collection. This is another one of those pretty rare WB tapes from 2005. Black Reels, July 20th, 2005. The Lost Boys, Warner Bros. Hits, July 21st, 2001. The Art of War, Wesley Snipes, Blockers Date, June 10th, 2001. Warren Creek, Franchise Pictures. 
November 15, 2000, and November 4, 2000. Eleven days apart. Wait a minute. Crack, crack, the lens is cracked right there. The right lens. Tape probably was still work. I'm sure it does. Bluetooth's back in action. My single label, I originally, I originally was going to ruin it, but then I figured, I figured, why do it? And then I decided not to. Favorite 50 out of 4. <clears throat> Polar Express. I have two copies of this one. We'll get to my other copy. If I haven't yet. October 24, 2005. This is my first copy. Definitely keep. Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Back when I put my name on it. January 30th, I found three. Back when I put my name on my tapes, which I regret doing. I don't do that anymore. Uh, Samurai. March 22nd, 2004, has the exact same print as my Mystic River VHS. Oh, here's my other Polar Express tape, speaking of Polar Express. I also have the Turkish DVD of it, which I'll show in my Warner Brothers collection. October 17, 2005, my Warner Brothers DVD collection, that is. It. This is actually an EP mode, but it doesn't have WSRD because it's way later. This tape's later. Extended play. May 30th, 2003. Here's my print day copy of Fallen. Ah! Look at that. My tapes just fell. This is stupid. My tapes just fell. That's no good. Black was your date. September 21st, 2004. May 21st, 1998. The Negotiator. Wide screen. May 7, 1999. Publisher Regency. Constantine. From Rental from SN Video. Wherever that is. May 16th, 2005. Be kind, please rewind. Oh, yeah. Core produced with Village Roadshow and the Donners Company. I almost forgot to mention. Here's an ultra rare VHS of Batman Begins. There's a couple on eBay right now, but they're kind of pricey. A little pricey. The cheapest one I saw was $19.99. $19.99. Legendary in DC. It's core produced by. Inclable, again, before. I mean, that was back when I put my names on tapes, which I highly regret nowadays. I wish I didn't do that. Then again, it's just a warning screen. Warning screen's pretty common. September 13, 2005. 13 Ghosts. Here's my other one. March 11th, Town 2. That's my f one per day copy. Oh, wait! I do have Analyze That Spanish. Okay. Yeah. Case is in that great a condition. Here it is. March 14, 2003. I actually did bring it. There it is. I actually just found it in here. So, yeah. I guess I did bring it after all. Victory. One of 75 years. I didn't give myself enough credit. I really should get myself enough. I should really get myself more credit. December 29th, 1997. Caddyshack. Warner Brothers. This is the boring show one I have. October 10th, 2001. Time check. 2.54. I just want to check. 2.54 p.m. right now. Monday, December 9th, 2019. MGM case, but boring show tape. As boring show beginning. December 1st, 1999. Best of Friends, Volume 1 case, but as Volume 2 tape inside. February 20th, 2001. That's the only Friends tape I have. Selena. March 9th, 1998. That's somebody else. Somebody by the name of Vanessa that wrote that. Somebody named Vanessa used to have that tape. Time to Kill. This is a bootleg copy. Has the bootleg Cheesy Shield sticker label. I actually have a Cheesy Shield copy of this movie. It's not a bootleg. It's a demo tape. Just showed in my Cheesy Shield collection. Here's my non-Canadian copy of Prisoner of Azkaban. Here it is. Comes with this. Just show it really quick. Visa, MasterCard, and Discover, and what's that other one? Those are the cards that were accepted. Alright, Inclable, October 7, 2004. Black Reels. 
Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. This is the uh, first copy I ever got. Number 12 to down too. Keep it for collect purposes. Yeah, I'll definitely keep that copy as well. Most likely. Training Day, Blackbird's Day, July 7, Town 2, Village Roadshow Pictures. January 16, to down 2, Dr. Sickle Here's my other Christmas vacation tape. Damn, I even had this one. Okay, cool. June 25, to down. 80 minutes into the video. Wow, this is a long one. This is the longest ever. Wow. Wow. Logan's run. I'm gonna try to get to. I'm gonna try to go to get to 90 minutes if I can. Wow. <clears throat> that means this video will be even longer than the movie Milan. <laughs> you could literally watch the movie Milan right now, and you'd be at the like the end credits right now, and like just like five minutes or something, you'll be at the freaking end credits of Milan right now. November 15, November 15, 2002, and September 19, 2002. Those are the two dates. I also have the UK VHS of this, but I'm not including it because it's from Columbia TriStar in the UK. I'll, I'll show that in my Columbia TriStar Entertainment collection, which I will do probably in the next few days. Maybe. I, I'll probably do it. I'll probably, what day is today? Today is Monday. I'll do it on Wednesday, probably. Terminator 3 Resident Machines. Bob's date, January 26, 2004. Covers Intermedia and C2. October 17th, 2003. Two weeks notice with Sandra Bullock and Hooch Grant. Blockers Day, October 12th, Town 3, Castle Rockville Drill Shows, but it's co-produced by March 20th, Town 3, and March 10th, Town 3, 10 days apart. Scooby Doo, Where's My Mummy? Ultra Rare Town 6 reprint. The only Warner Brothers tape I have with a blue lid. I want to try to get another. January 21st, Town 6. Only one I have. Okay, I got Space Cowboys. June 6th, Town 1, and March 23rd, 2001. The Matrix. This is a demo tape. It's a demo tape of The Matrix. July 24th, 1999. Found that mark for a store. Couldn't pass it up. Spear. This is my American one. Also, the Japanese tape, which I showed way earlier in the video. Fox Day, October 26th, 1998. June 12th, 1998. Mars Attacks. This film I hear is freaking hilarious. I'm gonna have to give it a watch. Be Calm Rewind. May 21st, 1997. I checked it as the Boring Show logo. You've got mail. We're at the last stack before we get to the two movie sets. And three movie set. Bob's date, November 22nd, 1999. March 10th, 1999. Strange Brew, MGM casing, and MGM tape. However, this tape has the Boring Shield Warner Home Video logo being, so I included it. August 21st, 1999, August 18th, 1999. Three days apart. Math Sick Men. I recycled. I mean, I checked to see what tape, this tape is recycled from. Coverage Image Movers. Recycled from. What is that? Matrix Revolutions, I believe it said. February 3rd, 2004. Recycled from Matrix Revolutions. Crossfire Trail. Black Reels. TNT Original. April 15, 2005. Stay Slickers 2, Legend Curly's Gold. This is the better copy. Thanks to VHS Collector Town 2 for giving me this tape. Now I have a better copy. December 5th, 2000. Uh, cracked in this lens, but I guarantee this tape will still work. I'm sure it will. Chisholm. Here's my Boring Shield one of Chisholm. May 1st, 1998. I haven't, actually, I haven't checked this one. I doubt it has to choose Shield. I mean, it just might, but this one, I'm not sure which Shield it has. I'm pretty sure it has the Boring Shield. I'm pretty sure. I might just check later on. See. Hey, guys, I will, I will make sure to try to remember to count these before I put these away. Miss Congeliality. You know, to make up for what happened last night. March 14th, Town 1. This is the earlier. This is the uh, original pressing. I have an original pressing as well, which I just showed. Queen of the Damned. Cobra's Village Roadshow. This film looks like crap, but I'll keep it for the collection purposes. This film looks like crap, in my opinion. 
This I can't stand the way this movie looks so far. This looks bad, in my opinion. I, especially because I don't like movies with, like, freaking, uh... Um... You know, these type of... Oh, yeah, vampires. That's what they are. They're vampires. Ugh, I don't really... I don't like vampire movie drama movies. You know, it reminds me of Twilight and those type of movies. I don't like those type of movies. But I'll keep this tape anyway. August 7, Town 2, and July 6, Town 2. I got just for collect purposes. Print a month apart. Pretty much. All right. Mickey Blue Eyes. We have four more before we get to the two tape sets. And three tape set. March 16th. I mean, no, 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 no. I'm way off. November 16th, 1999. I don't know why it said March. My bad. <laughs> ah, silly mistakes happen occasionally. It's normal. Cats and Dogs. My two tape edition. May 21st down 3. May 8th to down 3. 13 days apart. That's my slipcover version. Fugitive Warner Bros. Special Edition. Excuse me. Hundred thirty minutes, extras thirty six minutes. Those tapes one hundred sixty six minutes. That is two hours and forty six minutes. June twelfth, down two, and May twenty third, two thousand two. All right, two more, two more separates. We're almost done. Color purple special white screen edition. The print dates are really far apart, guys. You ready? March twenty sixth, down three, and May twenty ninth, two thousand two. Print dates are way far apart on that one. Definitely keeping it. Magnum Force. This is the last, last one, the last one before we get to the two tape sets. We're almost done, guys. Eighty-six minutes. December eighteenth. That's nice seven. And that one may or may not have the cheese shield. I don't even remember. I'm gonna have to watch that tape again. Barry Lyndon. Blockbuster date is March twenty-six, two thousand four. Incredible of part one and part two right there. Part one is... Uh, no, actually, no. Both tapes are printed on May 30th, 2001. Thanks to VHS Collector Town 2 for giving me this tape. This, this is a boring show version of JFK. I'll keep it for the collection purposes. Part 1 and Part 2. Oh, oops. Part 1, June 21st, Town 2. And Part 2 is June 22nd, 2002. And guys, I'm going to go to bed after this video. Yeah. I'm not tired yet, but I, I need to take my night medicine. A problem, guys, a problem I've had since I was born, guys, is I, I can't sleep on my own. I have to take sleep medicine in order to fall asleep. Otherwise, I just, I literally could stay up all night. I literally just can't, I, I just don't get tired if I don't take my medicine, which really sucks. Night medicine. Oh, oh, I already showed that. Sorry, I was kind of busy talking about my sleep medicine. I wasn't paying attention for a second. Green Mile. I have the Turkish DVD of this, which we'll get to in my Warner Brothers DVD collection. May 4, 2000, Part 1. Part 2, April 21st, 2000. The right stuff. This is the right one. Yeah. This is the right collection video to show this in. I showed this in the... also showed in the She's Show 1 by mistake. Part 1, June 22nd, Town 2, and June 7th, Town 2. Part 2 is just June 22nd, Town 2, by itself. Alright. Oh, yeah, never mind. I originally I originally thought I already showed this, but no, it's the two tape one. This is the Boring Shield one. I checked, this one does have Boring Shield. Part 1, November 11, Town 2, and November 5, Town 2. Part 2, November 11, Town 2, and November 1st, Town 2. 10 days apart for Part 2. The other one is 6 days apart, I believe. Yeah. Another two-tape set of Heat. Again, another. Barbara's Date, July 4, Town 4. That's actually Valentine's. I mean, not Valentine's. That's on Independence Day. Part 1, which is the Born Shield one. And Part 2, actually, is the Cheesy Shield. I don't know why they mixed it up. Somebody mixed it up. Part 1 is March 30th, 1998. Hang on a moment. I cracked in that lens, but probably still work. And Part 2 is May 29th, 1996. Ben-Hur, Warner Brothers Classics. 
Both tapes have two per dates. 222 minutes. Extra is 11 minutes. So that's 233 minutes. October 8th, 10 on 2, and September 27th, 10 on 2 for part 1 and part 2. October 7th, 10 on 2, and September 9th, 2002. Camelot. I haven't actually popped this one in, but I'm sure this sounds boring shield. I'm pretty sure. If that's cheesy shield, I'll be freaking surprised. I'll update you guys if it does. Oh, yeah. I think I checked this one. This one does have the boring shield. Now I think about it. Part 1, December 21st, 2000, and November 17, 2000. And part two is December 21st, 2000, and November 24th, 2000. Okay. Last two tapes set before we get to the only three tapes set. And then we'll then finally we'll be done with this video. We're at 90 minutes. We're, we're even longer than the movie Milan right now. The movie Milan would have ended two minutes ago. Part one and part two, special widescreen. Uh, per date on both tapes are is April Fool's Day 2000. <clears throat> Lethal Weapon Le Legacy Director's Cut. There's the four tape set. Actually, it's a four tape set, not three. Sorry. When I said three tape set, I really meant four, actually. Sorry about that. It is a four tape set. All right. It comes with an extra tape. Pure lethal. I forgot about the extra tape. Oh yeah, I forgot my official copy of Lethal Weapon 4 for April 22nd, 1999. I have that tape as well, just so you guys know. You guys probably already know, though, if you've seen my update of that video. Dark Sugar Label, September 27, 1998. This is my other copy. This is just my single print tape copy. I'll definitely keep both of the director's cut copies for collection purposes of course I like both of them the same pretty much <clears throat> and here's an ink label printed no November 4th of 1998 and then here's three ink label September 8th 1998 pure lethal here's the add-in tape Promotional, not for sale or rental. November 3rd, 1998. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed. Holy crap! 92! About to be 93 freaking minutes! Dude! This is a long, long video. And I remember um, on MTM Productions, shout out to him. I remember he did like an hour and 30 minute video one time and I was like, whoa, wow. Well, apparently I just did one. I actually just did one. <laughs> wow. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope this video turned out all right. I really do. I hope this has audio and everything. Otherwise, I would just be one gigantic freaking waste. Oh, I pray to God that that's not the case. <coughs> Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed. That is the full I mean, Boring Show collection. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. And have a great night. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow.